Hello students, welcome to Physics Guruji. In today's video, I will describe that how to find the electric field due to a infinite plane sheet of uniform charge distribution sigma. So here, I you can see that this is an infinite plate. I have drawn a rectangular plate facing rightward direction and this goes to infinite in every direction. Here the charge density is sigma that is per meter square it has sigma amount of charge. Now to find the electric field at the front side at any place we have to first consider an Gaussian surface. So here I will use Gauss's law of electrostatics to find the electric field in front of a infinite plane sheet. I am taking a Gaussian surface here as cylinder as a cylinder. So this is the Gaussian surface. I have to draw this one. So this is a cylinder I have taken here and I have to find the electric field in that point. In the opposite direction, that is other side of the plane sheet, I have to take another part so that the charge will be confined. So this is the other side of the cylinder. So this is the whole cylinder passes through the plane sheet and the charge inside is this amount of charge. So we have to consider only the charge inside this region. Therefore, if the radius of the cross section of the cylinder be A, then the amount of charge inside this cylinder is Q enclosed equal to sigma into cross section area. Now look why I have taken this type of surface. Let's see as the plane sheet has infinite extension so the electric field in front of the plane sheet will be in this direction that is perpendicular to the plane. So, I have to integrate the electric field over all surfaces and here you can see there is three surfaces here. One is this plane, this circular disc of area A. Another surface is this curve surface that is whole curve surface. And the third surface is the opposite in opposite direction this surface. In this direction, the electric field is directed like this and on this surface, the electric field is directed like this. So you can see that the circular disc, two circular discs like surface, here the electric field is perpendicular to the surface. And another thing you can notice that the electric field on this plane that is on the curve surface of our Gaussian surface is parallel or, or horizontal. That means in here if we take the surface area as normal to the surface, here surface areas are radially outward. So here electric field is perpendicular to the plane. So, to apply Gauss's law, we have get here two angles. One is zero degree angle for this and this surface and for the curve surface, we have got the angle is 90 degree. So, it is easier to apply the Gauss's law. Now, I will apply Gauss's law to get the field. So, from Gauss's law, we know that closed surface integration. This is double integration means surface integration and this is closed surface integration. 
क्लोज सरफेस इंट्रीगेशन ई डॉट डी एस विल बी इक्वल टू क्यू एनक्लोज बाई एफ सेलन जीरो और वी कैन राइट हेयर नाउ लुक हेयर वी हैव थ्री सर्फेसेस वाया दिस इज सर्फेस वन दिस काव सर्फेस इज सर्फेस टू एंड दिस प्लेन सर्फेस इज सर्फेस थ्री सो वी कैन ब्रेक दिस इंटीग्रेशन इंटू थ्री पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज सर्फेस वन हेयर ई एंड डी एस बोथ आर पैरल दैट इज डायरेक्शन ऑफ एस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द सर्फेस एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑल्सो परपेंडिकुलर टू द सर्फेस सो द डॉट प्रोडक्ट हेयर बिकम्स ई इंटू डी एस इंटू कॉस थीटा सो इट विल बी ई इंटू डी एस एंड कॉस जीरो डिग्री इक्वल टू वन फॉर द सेकेंड सर्फेस वी कैन राइट हेयर फॉर द सेकेंड सर्फेस इट इज ई on the surface into ds and the angle is 90 degree here because this is perpendicular to the direction of field so it is cos 90 and it will becomes zero as cos 90 is zero and the third surface here for the third surface we also have the electric field is leftward direction and the normal on the surface also leftward direction so here it is equal to e into ds this is equal to q enclosed now q enclosed the value is sigma into a so it is sigma a by epsilon 0 therefore this middle term is 0 and this term and this term both are equal so here we can write 2 into now look at the figure that as this plane surface is in equal distance from the plane sheet so electric field is uniform all over the surface and we have taken equal part in the this side so here also the electric field has same magnitude so electric field is independent of this position of the ds so we can take the electric field as a constant quantity and the surface integration of ds here is equal to sigma a by epsilon 0 or therefore it is becomes 2e equal to now the surface integration that is integration over the whole surface that is whole disk like surface the this gives total area a is equal to sigma a by epsilon 0 now a and a cancel and we get e equal to sigma by 2 epsilon 0 and in vector notation we can write e equal to sigma by 2 epsilon 0 and the direction is perpendicular so we can write as n cap for this side this is the direction of n cap and for this side this is the direction of n cap okay so this is our result that is electric field due to infinite charge sheet thank you for watching please keep subscribe my channel and like and share the video